Now, the two suspects facing arraignment right now, Peter Berdovsky and Sean Stevens, they are in big trouble for their part in this publicity stunt for a late night cartoon gone horribly wrong. Could the parent company of the Cartoon Network, Turner Broadcasting, be hit with criminal charges? Joining us now, attorney Robert Cartwright Jr. He is also the former president of Consumer Attorneys of California. They say <laughs> that they were just, uh, you know, just doing a, a thing. Uh, Turner Broadcasting is saying, hey, we, we subcontracted this out to another company. Uh, it wasn't our idea. A lot of finger pointing going on. How do you get to the bottom of it? Does it take a criminal case? Well, the company that did this is Interference Inc., appropriately named. Uh, they're in a heap of trouble. Uh, the decisions that were made were just incredibly poor judgment on their part, and they are facing both criminal repercussions and possibly very significant civil consequences here. Uh, criminally, uh, I think they potentially could face as much as 50 years. Now, hopefully the prosecutors, the DA, will use uh, discretion, and uh, it would seem to be uh, that these people didn't intend for these consequences to, to occur. But nonetheless, very serious consequences did occur. The city was shut down for hours. And probably more significantly, these companies are facing lawsuits, uh, possibly class actions, uh, people that have had business losses, a company that have had lost uh, productiv productivity, people that were trapped in traffic jams for hours. Sure. All of those people could potentially file a class action, and there could be very, very serious repercussions. Well, and the police department says it spent half a million dollars sending the bomb squad and other people running all over the city yesterday. Do you need corporate... Uh uh, does it take a corporate uh, pocketbook to pay for something like that? Could, could the city go after them for that money? They, they very well could and probably will. Uh, the, the city will have a claim. The people trapped will have a claim. Businesses who have had losses will have a claim. Very serious consequences here, both civilly and criminally. Uh, just incredibly poor judgment coming right on the heels of the Sacramento case where a radio station encouraged uh, people to, to drink lethal amounts of water. In this case, you just had a little sign with, uh, that was obscene in itself, and that itself could result in additional charges. Yeah. So uh, just very poor judgment used here by this company, Interfer Interference Incorporated, Turner Broadcasting, and, uh, and this meatball cartoon.